Hey, welcome back. Um, last lesson we started looking at a percentage of an amount and we did it without a calculator. Today we're going to look at the same topic but we're going to do it with a calculator. Okay, so I've got four different questions. If you're feeling confident with it, by all means have a go through them. Put this on pause now, have a go through them all, press play and see what you got correct and what you got incorrect and see if you can learn from your mistakes. Okay, if you have no idea at all, uh, work with me and then we'll get, we'll make sure that you have an understanding of it. Okay, so first question, find 13% of 260. The first thing you need to do, okay, is to divide 13 by 100. Okay, first, step, first things first, divide your percentage by 100. Okay, and that equals 0 0.13. That's your multiplier. Okay, with a multiplier, we multiply it. So we're going to do 260 times by 0 0.13. And you can do that on your calculator. Okay. And the final answer you should get is 33.8. Now in this, there's no units. So it could say 260 pound. It could say 260 grams. If it does say something like that, you need to make sure that you get the correct units as well. Okay. If it's money, you should have two decimal places. All right. Next one then, okay, we're going to do the exact same thing again, okay, so we're going to do 84 divided by 100, okay, which equals 0 0.84, and then that's your multiplier, so you're going to do 263 multiplied by your multiplier, 0 0.84, and your answer should be 220.92. Okay, next one. Now this one's a little bit different. Why is this one different? Because it's got a decimal point in it just there. Okay, but the method is still exactly the same thing. Okay, so we're going to do 6.4 divided by 100. Okay, which equals 0 0.064. Okay, and what you're going to do you are going to times that, you know, 289 times by 0 0.064, and you should get the answer of 18.496. Now remember, if this was money, you can only have two decimal places in money, so you'd have to draw the line, it's a six there, so that rounds up, so we have 18.5. Or 18 pound 50 okay last one then last one is very similar to this one okay it's just different numbers so we're gonna do 4.72 divided by a hundred which equals 0 0.04721 times by 0 0.0472 and you should get the answer of 8.496 okay so, success criteria. First things first, you're going, you are going to divide your percentage by 100 to get it to a decimal so that we can end up with a multiplier. You then, with your original amount, times it by your multiplier to get your answer. Okay. If you've got any questions on this, let me know. Okay. I'll give you a worksheet to go along with it, but have a good day, guys. Okay.